once, welcome twice, welcome in the awesome great name of Jesus Christ. This is a Science Wall broadcast of Evangelist Vexa sharing another video with you, ladies and gentlemen, whether you come from near or far, here or abroad. Thank you for stopping by. Remember the grass wither, the flowers fade, but the word of God lasts forever. Brothers and sisters, in the end, the only thing that we lost is our relationship with God. Men come, men go, women come, women go. But the word of God, brothers and sisters, lasts forever. I just want to encourage everybody near and far, here and abroad. Keep the faith. Do not give up on God. When the men and women fail us, Please keep in mind these words. Jesus promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. People may forget us, but Jesus loves you so much. He said, if I go, I will come again. Can I get a witness here? What Jesus said, he said, if I go, I will come again. Brothers and sisters, I just want to encourage you. I want to share a Bible text with you today. Not going to be long. I want to share a Bible text with you. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to share a little text with you. So the text I want to share with you is found in the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. A lot of people hear me mention this before. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. The word of God said, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Dear Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Please let this video, let this message be a blessing to somebody. May this not just be another video, but may somebody be blessed. Not because of me, but because of the power that is in your word. In Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 1 again, verse 18. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. What is the Bible saying? We should come now to reason. With who? With the Lord. Come now, let us reason together. Notice the text is not saying come tomorrow it is saying come now what is why is it saying come now because tomorrow is not promised why is it saying come now because many people say i'm gonna do this tomorrow i'm gonna do that tomorrow and for them tomorrow never come because they did not wake up brothers and sisters the bible is saying we should come to god now notice there is no waiting period there is no waiting time come now come today while you hear his voice come now and when we come what we're going to do we're going to reason together what are we going to talk about he said though your sins be as scarlet they shall be white as snow can i say that again though your sins be as white as snow they shall be. Brothers and sisters, what the Bible is saying is we all have sinned at some point. We all have made some sort of mistakes. So the Bible is saying, come now. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Because Jesus is saying, come now. Why is it necessary to come now? Because tomorrow is not promised. You say we could reason with the Lord. How do you reason with the Lord? First John 1 verse 9 said, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our sins. So what the Bible is saying, if we come to God honestly, if we come to God sincerely and honestly to reason together, God is willing to forgive us for our sins. And so, if any man hear his voice and come with a sincere heart, 
Jesus is willing to save you and I. And this is very important, brothers and sisters, for signs of the times are everywhere and trouble are everywhere. You don't know if tomorrow we're going to wake up. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. While you hear his voice, do not delay. So come now, come now to Jesus. Come now to Jesus. And when you come now, let us confess our sins. How do I know that? Psalm 51, David have made some mistakes and done some wrong. And he come to God and he confess. And he said, Lord, have mercy upon me in Psalm 51. And God was willing to have mercy upon him. Whatever you're going through, remember to ask God to have mercy upon you. Though our sins be as scarlet, Jesus is able to make them as white as snow. So let us talk to God about our trouble. Let us talk to God about our concern and problems. Let us come now. So let us pray. Dear Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart I pray, God, that you, who is excellent, you who have the remedy for sin, will forgive us for our sins and let your Holy Spirit come in. Pray, O oh God, that you will touch this man, you will touch this woman, you will touch this boy, you will touch this girl, and grant us, Lord, a cleansing in your blood. Dear Lord, you have the remedy for sin, for what can wash away our sins nothing but the blood of jesus so dear lord we come to you right now asking you to please forgive us for our sins and wash us and cleanse us in your precious blood thank you for the fountain that's filled with blood thank you for your grace as the breeze is blowing on this tree dear god let your holy spirit move in our life lord we cannot see you physically but we know your presence is in this place. Lord, we cannot see you physically, but we feel your moving power. As these trees are blowing, I pray, O oh God, that you will move in your daughter life. You will move in your son's life. You will move in Baxter life to flip the script. And Lord, you will let things turn around in our life, O oh God. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you shall do. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I pray. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. Thank you, God, for this little message. Thank you, dear God, for forgiveness. Thank you, dear God, for the hope of forgiveness. And I pray that we will be willing to come to you to confess our sins before it's too late. Dear God, I pray that you will bless, lead, and direct. Cause your, cause your face to, cause your face of grace, your face, cause your face of mercy, Lord. Cause your, your goodness, your grace to follow us. Thank you for the hope of forgiveness. I pray, O oh God, that we will all move immediately to confess our problems, our sins to you. Knowing that you alone have the remedy for our sins. And Lord, acknowledging that sin is like an infection that will kill us if we don't get the remedy. And we are grateful and thankful that you, Jesus, have the remedy for our sins. So, dear God, we pray that the remedy for this infection of sin will come in our life. And we will have the desire to try by God's grace to live above sin. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy and keeping us in the gospel race. We thank you in Jesus' name. We thank you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is based in on the fact that Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 said, Come now, let us confess, let us reason. Let us depend on God for forgiveness. Let us depend on God for freedom and deliverance from the bondage and being wrapped up and tied up and being enslaved in sin. Let us ne let not sin dominate our body, but let us allow you and your words to dominate our life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Dear God, thank you one more time for your goodness and forgiveness. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for visiting 
This is Evangelist of Backs Up on the Zion's World Broadcast of the Gospel Channel, sharing the Word of God near and far, encouraging everyone all over the world to let us know that the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. And brothers and sisters telling us that if we confess our sins before it's too late, we can get the opportunity to walk through the gate, the gate where there'll be no more debt, no more sorrow, no more pain. Revelation 21, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Brothers and sisters, let us come to God for this forgiveness. Only He, Jesus alone, have the remedy for our sins. One more time, everybody all over the world, join me. What can wash away my sin? Put your name there. Let's do that again. What can wash away Baxter sin? Put our name there. What can wash away, Mr. Brown? What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we know about the blood. Let us come to Jesus before it's too late. Amen and amen. Watchman, blow the gospel trumpet. Every soul a warning give. Whosoever hear this message, may repent and turn and live. Please kindly take a minute out of your busy schedule to share this message with somebody. I know without a shadow of a doubt. That somebody can be blessed through this message in Jesus' name. So I encourage you, take some time to share this message with somebody. And if you have not yet subscribed to the Gospel Channel, subscribe, share with others in Jesus' name. Thank you for stopping by. This is Evangelist F. Baxter trying my little best to share the Word of God with all.